All right, guys. I do hope you're having a wonderful day. And eventually, your week is going as planned. This is Denzimus, and you're welcome to the channel of truth, the channel of freedom, and the channel of enlightenment, and the channel of breaking up as free. Please make sure to like the page, share, and subscribe. Okay, give us a like. It's very important for the algorithms and it helps this community to grow. In today's video, I'm going to talk about dating and relationships. This will be according to my okay, personal experience, but you may have your own views, okay? And you're always welcome to share with us in the comment section below. But I'm going to talk about the reason as to why you guys are starting to notice that many people is checking out of relationships. You will never understand relationships until you have experienced an extremely bad relationship. There is something that happens to your brain and to you as a person and you're starting to realize that maybe relationships isn't worth it. Now, I do not necessarily say that everybody is toxic. I do not necessarily say that everybody is a bad person. There is good people out there. There is good, nice men and women, very genuine hearts, and normally people that you can have a very nice relationship with them. But after some time, you will understand that those people are few, okay? And the ones who have done any work on themselves to do some healing as well, they are also very few. And those are the guys you will not actually meet anywhere that you go. It will be very difficult to encounter those kind of people, the good people that you really want to have a relationship with. There is five reasons why I believe, including me, Many people are checking out and have opted out of relationships. Reason number one is um, after going through bad relationships, you start to understand that many people is looking for support. This is probably, let's say, a single mother. Okay, she has got three, four, five kids. And she just needs somebody to join her and take care of her kids. Like I've said, this is not for everybody. You're allowed your own opinion, but this has been my experience, according to the things that I've seen. So there's a single mother. Um, she has left one relationship. She has got five kids, four kids, three kids. And... Uh, She's kind of scared to raise these kids alone. Even if she doesn't necessarily need someone in her life, because eventually a single mother has a mother that has been dumped by somebody and the person has left her behind with kids. So some people decide, not all, some decide to go into a relationship because they are looking for a father for their kids. They have got an original father. But most likely, they're not in good relationships, in good terms with that father. And they need somebody who is going to be available. So not necessarily are they really looking for a relationship. They just want somebody to father their kids. Okay? And now you start to realize that people are in relationships for the wrong reasons. You know, it can be, for example, I've given an example of a single mom who is very desperately looking for a father for their kids. Sometimes you may find a person who dates someone just because they have got muscles, just because they have got this body that they want to have, they have got a very nice, beautiful car, maybe social status, they are the CEOs of some company, they have got a very big mansion with a swimming pool, they have got a lot of money in their bank accounts. 
So you are now starting to see people who are entering relationships, not necessarily because they need love or they're looking for love, but they're just in for the benefits, okay? So people are dating for the wrong reasons. If you agree with that, let us know in the comment section below. Another one, number two, why actually people is starting to check out of relationships is the existence, coming to the uh, awareness of the existence of narcissists, okay? Very toxic and evil people. And now, when a person has had a toxic relationship before, like I've said, you start to understand the existence of these individuals. And you are thinking that you are not going to invest any more time and energy into a toxic person. You already know it's going to be a waste of time. You're going to spend a couple of years in fights, arguments, and abuse, and stuff like that. So people now is coming to that awareness that there is a lot of toxic folks out there. Now, again, let's remember that not everybody is toxic. Not everybody is a narcissist. But we can best believe those guys, they are men of them. They are everywhere. Number three, let us take an example of a person who has been doing some healing work on themselves. They have had a bad relationship before. Maybe even many bad relationships before. And now for some reason, like me uh, particularly, I was like, I'm going to stop dating. And let me take some time to, you know, for myself, to figure out myself, to get myself together. And on that journey, it started to make me realize the value of freedom. You see, when you have not tested freedom, you will never appreciate and understand the value of your own freedom. So when you have been alone for some time, you start to enjoy this experience. That feeling where you wake up one day, you want to go and do what you want to do, eat what you want to eat, watch whatever program you want to watch, and enjoy your own peace in your own home, doing your own thing. Now, when you have tested the value of freedom, it comes to that state where you are very uh, careful with the person that you want to give your, uh, that freedom away, okay? You are very protective of that, of that freedom. And you want to make sure that you want to give it to the right person, okay? If you decide to open the doors for somebody, you are going to lose a part of that freedom. So when you keep on thinking about it, it's like you're trying to figure out that, okay, whichever person is coming in, they're going to be good people. And they are people that are worth investing your time and energy. So number three is the value of freedom, where people, they are starting to enjoy their own freedom by themselves. They are not having to deal with answering different questions from toxic people. They are not, have, they are not having to look over their shoulders or what their partner is saying and stuff like that. They are starting to enjoy this peace. It's a very peaceful moment, ladies and gentlemen, when you have spent some time by yourself. You can never, ever again take that freedom for granted. If you decide to give it away, maybe get into a new relationship, maybe get, an, get into another marriage, you want to make sure that you give away that freedom to the right person, okay? The person who is going to respect your peace, and you guys are going to have a nice, harmonious relationship together. Number four, why is people checking away, checking out of relationships is... Um, when you start to understand the dynamics of relationships, you will start to see that many people have got nothing to offer. So you find a person, let's say a woman or a man, oh, I want a woman who looks like this. I want a woman who is this. I want a woman who is that. The women as well, I want a guy who is like that. The guy who has, who has this body like this. The guy who is driving this type of a car. So, but when you look very closely, they are telling you all these things that they need. And okay, you respect their choices. It's okay, it's understandable, you can listen to that. But you are realizing that that person has got nothing to offer. Yes, you are going to come in. You will have the nice car. You will have the nice house. You will have that body that they want. You will have the eyes that they want. But when you're looking very closely, you are now seeing 
that these people really have nothing to offer, okay? And now you're thinking that, okay, are you going to really pour into this person everything that you have and anything that she wants? And she doesn't really have anything that she's going to give in return. Now you're starting to see that there's not going to be any reciprocation in that relationship. So you're going to be simply the one who is offering everything and they simply have got nothing to offer. So people are now checking out of relationships because they realize a lot of folks out there, they have got nothing to offer. You can give them everything. They have nothing to give in return. Number five is uh, you're now starting to realize why people are checking out of relationships. It's because a lot of folks are starting to become very serious, to get very serious with purpose. You see, as you get older, I'm 40 plus at the moment. As you get older, you realize that you have spent a very huge amount of time in relationships. And most of the times, if you start counting the people you've dated back in the days, the people you have been with, you realize that you never really had any purpose in life. So at some point, it's like you are like, okay, maybe it was because you're usually meeting the wrong people. Because when you meet the wrong people, they will never allow you or give you the opportunity to find your purpose. Okay? So many people now, they are like going inside of them, going inwards and starting to focus on their purpose. So they are putting relationships on the hold and they're like, okay, that one will come at a later time. But in this moment in time, they are going to seriously focus on their purpose. So that is also one of the reasons as to why you see a lot of folks checking out of relationships. Okay, it is until they will be they will they will find their purpose and be comfortable in their purpose that they can now open some doors to start dating again. So a person may refuse an offer of a relationship. That is because they are working on themselves and they are trying to find their purpose. They are trying to do something that is moving, moving them forward. A lot of people have failed to find their purpose just because they are dating the wrong person. A person who cannot motivate you, they cannot support you in your dreams, they cannot even give you any form of constructive advice of what it is maybe you guys need to do or something like that. They are not willing to move the relationship forward. And sometimes you have been stuck in a very long cycle. It has spent you years. You never... You was never able to find your purpose. But the moment you've released those relationships, you are going to focus on your purpose. And number six is uh, people are realizing that um, the reason why people are checking out, checking out and uh, you know keeping a distance from relationships is because they are starting to realize there is a lot of unhealed people. When I'm talking about unhealed people, basically, I'm talking about people who are moving from one relationship to another one, one relationship to another one. They have never taken the time to sit down by themselves to heal. Me personally, when I'm getting into a relationship, the first question I might ask somebody, how long have they been single for? And I might also start to listen to their conversations and their language, and I may see if they have really gotten over the previous relationships. Because you see, people have been hurt Many people have been hurt in relationships. When that relationship ended, they have not taken the time to heal and they have simply gone on to the next one. So that kind of thing keeps you in a very long cycle whereby you're just jumping from one person to another and you're carrying the old wounds into the new relationship. Now, the new person now is the one who is supposed to deal with those wounds. So people are like kind of like doing this to find somebody who is going to help them to heal. So people are unable to heal on their own. They just want to go into a new relationship so that that new boyfriend or girlfriend is going to help them on this healing journey. But remember that that thing is very energy, is too much, is very energy draining. You're going to invest a lot of energy. Yes, you may sometimes do it, but it's not something you want to do because you want to get a person as well, find a person who has been taking some time for themselves and been doing some self-care, you know, some self-love. You know that there may be some work to be put in. But it's not going to be a lot of work because they are healed people, so they understand where you're coming from. So in my own opinion, that has been my opinion. That is the reason as to why you see so many folks are checking out of dating and relationships. Like I've said, if there's another reason you know of, 
I haven't mentioned in this video. Let us know in the comment section below, guys. You guys know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.